Respool the line before it's too late. Oh, my line is like almost destroyed. That's not good. Let's go like right there. I don't know how to fix the line. Also, I haven't done this in a while. I wonder if His Majesty fished as well. Don't think so. As far as I know. I'm trying to like get these fish to pay attention, but they're kind of like not caring. Come on. You know you want to. Let's recast. About time for a new line, ain't it? Yeah, man, but I don't know how to do that right now. There's like a big fish right there. It's got like the yellow glow thing on it, but I can't get it to bite. Maybe I just need to wait a second. Let's just give him a second. I'm getting impatient. Like super impatient. Not the line is wearing thin. Yes, I am aware. Thank you for telling me consistently. Try there. Come on. You know you want it. I'm so bad at fishing, in case it wasn't obvious. Respool the line before it's too late. Gladio, shut your mouth. Let me have a turn once in a while, huh? Look yeah, at sure. all of these fish here, man. How are they not going for it? I don't understand. All right, you know what? The line's still okay, you think? Yes, the line is still okay. Don't worry. We'll fish again later. Fishing hasn't done anything for me in this game yet anyways. How do I even go about fixing the fishing line? Oh, th here's the order. Cool. Okay, sweet. Where is uh, High Potion? Right here. Put this up top. What did that do? Wait, did I just change it? Okay, now I understand what I'm doing. I want this to be number one. High Potion number one. No, it didn't. Stupid thing. One. Oh, it's square to save. There we go. Okay. Then I want... Phoenix Downs is two. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Elixirs is three is fine. I, I really don't care about anything else. All I care about is high potions being number one. All right. Screw you, fishing. I have better things to do. But for real, someone in the comments tell me how to fish appropriately and how to fix the line. And hopefully I'll do it at some point. I hear things fighting to the death. My favorite pastime. Deadly combat. Hello there! Time to die! These mandrakes are like eight levels ahead of the, the sushu things, which appear to be some kind of porcupines? I don't know. How are they not always destroying them? Definitely meant to do that. Watch your backs. You think we're not alone? Do you think the freaking skull kid from like Twilight Princess is here? Indeed. Right. Oh, hey, there's the tomb. It's got to be like a boss enemy here, right? This looks like a boss area. Ah, uh, yep, I knew it. Tree at level 38. Look at that. No, I'm going to block you. Get parried, you nerd. Hey, let's uh, pierce this fool. This is a cool enemy. I like this thing's design. The whole tree monkey thing it's got going on. This definitely looks like a place it would be in all, too. I like it. Armager, let's go. Oh, wrong button. No, that was the right button. I just did it in the wrong order. Whatever. This thing is probably gonna like die to Armager since I'm 12 ish levels ahead of it. Yeah, it's, it's basically dead. Go ahead and Armager chain kill here. I didn't even get a chance to Armager chain because it's dead. Alright. Hey, check it out, Noct. Of all places. Here too rests the power of kings. I wonder how many more remain. The Tomb of the Rogue. One of the last four royal arms. Look at how dirty my cape is. Oh, it's the ninja star. <laughs> Wonderful.
Star of the Rogue. Guess we're done with the mirror wood now. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. I probably will stick with the Sword of the Father. Actually, I might use the, uh, what's the sword I used to use a lot? Uh, the Blade of the Mystic. I might use the Blade of the Mystic a little bit again, because I miss using it. But, uh, the Star of the Rogue we'll use for at least a little while just to check it out. Man, this dungeon didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. It was really easy to get to the exit. Got a Mega Phoenix as well. That's handy. Well, let's make our way back out of here, and then we can go and take care of this hunt, I guess, first of all. And then... Yeah, because this hunt has to be done at nighttime, and it's about to be night. So we'll go deal with that. And then we can do some other quests. What other quests should we do? What do we have available right now? Uh, we still need to do this stupid chocobo thing. Uh, do, 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 do. I have to get you rare ingredients. Uh, dust to dust we could do. Oh, we still have to go take pictures of the rest of those uh, Imperial bases, and I think one of them we actually have to combat, so we'll probably go do that. That sounds like a fun time. I didn't look up where the other three royal arms are, so I don't know where to go searching for those yet, so we can't go get them. But we can't go get them yet. We will soon, though. I'll figure out where the other three tombs are, and we can take care of them. One of the tombs was ransacked, wasn't it? And, like, the royal arm was taken out of it. We still have to go find where that royal arm ended up. Am I going the right way? Yeah. It's just straight ahead. This is actually, like, a really straight shoot. Oh, you know what? When we first came to this dungeon, Gladio wasn't with us when we were first able to come to this area, when we were near it, because we met it with Arnea, and she teamed with us for a while, because Gladio was gone for some reason. So I bet the game expected <sighs> most players to go yeah. through that Broke dungeon without uh, without Gladio. They'd only have Ignis and Prompto, and so that's why it wasn't as difficult. All right, well, cool. I accidentally pressed R2 <sighs> instead of square, because that's still what I'm used to. Let's get the Chocobo. And let's get a move on. Now. It is still night, or day, I mean. Just barely. If I can very quickly get to the car, we should be able to fast travel out of here. But I don't think that's going to happen. 0.3 miles to make in, like, less than a minute? Unlikely. Why? Well, more like less than 30 seconds. But I can try my best. Flying won't be too bad, but it'd just be so much quicker if I could fast travel to Lestalem. Come on, I can do this. It's like totally night already. There's no way I can make it in time. The Chocobo light is coming on. There's like no chance. I'm out of dash. It's still like 700 feet away. If I keep saying it's impossible, maybe the game will have pity on me and let me get there in time. But I don't think it will, because I still have 500 feet and I literally cannot see. Wow, this area is swarming with bugs. Yeah. Oh, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. Oh, no, I didn't go to the Regalia. I went to my waypoint. Oh, Let's it's go. over. Yep, it's night. If I had gone to the Regalia, maybe I would have done it, but I got bamboozled. Oh, I got bamboozled. Well, that sucks. I don't think I would have been able to make it up to the Regalia. Regalia was a bit further away. Oh, well. What happens, happens. At least it's no trouble. We have the headlights, so it's no trouble no using the Regalia at night, at least. It's rather dark out. You sure you can handle this? I yeah, man, I got fine. it. Take a load off for a while. You turn, please. Thank goodness that did not just annihilate the car. I don't think it did, at least. No, I think we're fine. All right. Let's get on out of here. Wait, did it annihilate the car, or is it still... No, no, no. It's fine. It's just the glass is still shattered. Uh, no. We're going this way. Waypoint no longer matters. 
I want to get, oh my goodness, 2.4 miles. We got a way to go. That's where I want to end up, though. I feel like I'm going really slow. Do I just feel that? No, I think I'm picking up speed now. Okay. Let's get through here, that tunnel that's up ahead, and then we're going to go into flight mode. We should be able to get over to the enemy location pretty quickly. We need to get there before daytime, but that shouldn't be an issue. It doesn't become daytime until, what, six? Or no, five. Which is nine in-game hours away. We got plenty of time. We're just gonna mess around with music until we get there. Because why not optimism? Not much of an optimist myself. I prefer to consider myself a realist who sometimes dabbles in pessimism. A little optimism is good every now and then, though. As long as you're not stupid with it. All right, why can I not take off? Is this like a no takeoff zone? Now I can, there you go. Every time I mention it, it's like, oh crap, we gotta let him take off. All right, we're gonna try and just go straight there if the game doesn't try and like deviate me away from this pathway. Oh dude, we're, this is gonna be so much quicker now. No, no, don't make me go right. Stick left if I can. Don't you dare push me away. First light. Come on, it's right over there. Like, really. I gotta find a place to, I gotta find a road to land on. I always forget that. Keep an eye on the mini map. I still got like a mile to go before I need to find a road. The High Wind Takes to the Skies. What an appropriate uh, name for a song. Considering what we're doing at the moment. Need to start getting down a lot more. We're only 0.5 out. Where is... Oh, right there's the lake that we fought that Marlboro at, I think. So there should be a road nearby. Yeah, right there are streetlights. Cool. Hey, yeah, did slow down. Start getting downwards. Need to find a, yeah, I'm on a road right now. Sick. If I could just touch down like immediately. Land, please. Then we'll go ahead and turn around. Where am I landing? I'm going through trees. What, is, what the, what? Uh, the regalia is on fire. What, what just happened? What? Why? I hit land. The game gave me a prompt to land and I pressed X and then it flew me into trees and I died. How does that make any sense? I'm not the only one like stupidly confused right now, right? Hold up, I have a Skype message again. Okay, it's nothing important. What the heck just happened? I better have an auto save like right after I killed that stupid tree. I don't want to have to go through that again, even though that fight was the easiest thing ever. It's probably going to put me outside of the thing. That's so dumb. The game gave me the prompt, like, hey, press X to land. I'm like, oh, cool, sick. Just let me land right here, and then I'll turn around and go and do my mission. And then the game was like, oh, hey, JK, we're going to like make you fly through eight trees and then explode. I'm kind of glad I got to see the regalia explode, because it's pretty epic, I got to admit, even though it was horrible. But that was so dumb. Why did that happen? I wasn't moving the joystick or anything. The game was just like, oh, well, I guess you pressed X to die instead of X to land. What the heck, man? That's not okay, game. Twas not okay at all. How long have I been recording? About half an hour. We still got another half hour to go. This is taking so long to load. What is the deal? I've been looking at this loading screen for like a full minute. Are- what? You're kidding me. Hold up. This was my last autosave? No way.
you you guys see this too, right? I'm not the only one that's like What? Yeah, a lot of tremors. There's about to be a tremor in your freaking face when I stab it. This is... Oh, my goodness. How the frick does this happen? Like, what the crap? I need to eat another freaking meal. My max HP is back to half. What the frick just happened? Would you like something to eat? The game really didn't autosave it all after I, like, got a royal... I got a royal arm and left a dungeon, and the game didn't autosave it? You'd help call pests? Yeah, I'm about to cull the pest that is the Cuban populace in this city. I'm about to go on a freaking murder spree over this. Best of luck. Stay safe. Why? I forgot to eat a meal. I'm I'm so livid okay. right now. I'm not even playing the game properly, as if I've been so playing the game properly at all since I started this game. I Sorry. don't under I cannot comprehend what just happened. Oh yeah, here it comes. Noctis? Need to calm down, man. 